Hello, my name is Gregory from Ukraine and in this video I show you small review for control box for pulse induction metal detector Tracker PI2. This is the box. Let's look on it. On the top panel, switch on off, reset button and level this is the resistor for sensitive. On the right side, plug in for headphones, speaker. In the back side, connector for the search coil. And in the downside, two holes for connecting the control box to the road. Let's open it and look inside. What we see inside? Board with a tiny controller. Battery holder for 8 batteries AA for 12 volts. And this is the connector for the search coil. The control box of Tracker P2 metal detector can be or with standard program for work with the standard monocoils uh, or with the deep program for work with the big frames. Uh, I leave the links to the both variants of the control box. It looks the same, difference only in the programming controller. In this review I use this type of coil for 10 inches or 25 centimeters. It has very little weight but very good sensitive, uh, especially for small things like coins, jewelry. Uh, this is very good variant. But this coil afraid of water. So it's only for ground searching and in dry weather. Link for this coil I leave in the description to this video. It's only for pulse induction metal detector coil, not for other type. But for a lot of pulse induction metal detectors it's very good variant. I already plug in the coil for the control box. Let's turn it on and I install the batteries. Let's turn it on. Always when metal detector turn it on or push button reset should take the coil uh, without any metal around it. Turn the sensitive on the max. Push reset. Screwdriver, small. Ukrainian coin. Bullet. If you only receive the control box or you plan to use the new one coil, you should the setting control box to the coil. Here is the blue resistor with the screw on the top of it. Connecting the coil, uh, should use the new batteries or charger at it before making the settings. Better doing this outside, without any metal around the coil. Turn metal detector on. And if, when we turn it on, we see 
or blue lamp, we started to rotate the screw on the resistor on the right side. For this moment, when the second lamp started uh, lights and we hear such signal, it means that uh, the coil not uh, setting for the box. We, uh, if we hear such signal, we started rotating the opposite side in the left. Three turns. Uh, here is the moment when the stopped or uh, second lamp lights and signal stops. And from this place we make three turns. One, two, three. Push button reset. Everything is setting. Another case can be when you turn it on. Second lamp is already uh, lights and we hear such signal. In this situation, we rotated the screw on the left side from this place when the signal stops. Any other lamp is normal, not only the second and not only the signal this signal and from this place we do three turns on the left side one two three push button reset that's all turn is already made the same situation with the big frame with the deep program but uh, you should go away from the houses and other metal things uh, for such type of coil because <coughs> the big frame can sense for five six meters so shouldn't be any metal around the coil in this uh, uh, length uh, so in this case uh, we recommend to use the tree and uh, put the coil on the tree and then make the turning it. You can uh, test it with some types of big metal, for example, for piece of metal size from 30 to 30 centimeters or bigger. And uh, the settings make the same. I leave the link for this control box with standard and with the deep program in the description to this video. If you like this video, please put button like, subscribe in my channel and share this video with your friends. Goodbye!